Hello. Hope everyone's having a great week. Last week was a bit of a stressful week for me. Um, had to deal with another breakup. I had to deal with someone that thought that she could tell me about myself um, without knowing my story or knowing my journey, um, which you can't really tell someone that they are experiencing something when you don't know their story or their journey. You're operating based on your own bias, but that's just how I feel. Um, but also, yet again, dealing with another breakup. Don't think the situation that went down warrant a breakup, but hey, he wanted free, he wanted out. So, you know, he, it is what it is. Then had to deal with finding out that um, my ex-boyfriend and my daughter were having conversations behind my back. So that wasn't something thrilling to, that wasn't something I, I care to find out about or know about. I don't understand why people don't get that. I have more important things to focus on, um, more high priority stuff and just keep the unnecessary foolishness away from me. Um, yeah, for, for people who are not going through the journey of cancer or any type of medical condition where they're focusing on their health, it is hard for someone who's not going through that to understand that, hey, there is something much more important to focus on or to deal with. But whatever, it's it's life, it is what it is. And then on top of that, not seeing eye to eye with my doctor because I saw her Wednesday, so not seeing eye to eye with my doctor. So we were going back and forth in the during the appointment. So I'm so over my oncologist, so over my oncologist. Um, so one of the things that her and I are not seeing eye to eye on, she wants me to have surgery three weeks after getting my chemo treatment, which my body will not be ready for surgery. I'm, it takes me damn near almost a week and a half to even bounce back from the chemo. And I'm not trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to do surgery three weeks after chemo. She's telling me to get a blood transfusion and I'll be fine. And I'm more like, are you sure I won't need a blood transfusion once I go under? So we're working through that. I, we stopped with the back and forth. She gave me four potential surgeons to, to vet out, which I need to provide that information to my friend to see if he knows of any of the surgeons or their reputation. And then I'll take it up with the surgeon and let the surgeon know that I do not want to do surgery three weeks after getting my last chemo. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, I really need to look for the list because I honestly don't know what I did with the list of surgeons. If I can't find it, they'll just have to provide it to me all over again. But this is my new normal. Um, my neighbors were nice enough to bring the bed from the guest bedroom downstairs because unfortunately my room is upstairs. And now that I'm home alone my neighbors decided to bring the mattress down so i have the mattress right smack in my living room which you can see the couch behind me so this helps me to get something to eat to use the bathroom to be close to the front door if i need to like have you know need to have my neighbors come in or if there's a package or whatever so i'm um, centrally located to everything and there's a restroom downstairs so this just makes things easier for me so i don't have to keep going up and down the stairs which could be a bit challenging at times so i have a bed right smack in my living room which is weird but also pretty awesome in a weird way i also have a tv here so yeah my my new normal so this will probably be my new normal for the rest of the summer my son is gone for the rest of the summer he's with his father so before he comes back home all of this will need to 
go back to normal. The bed will have to go back to the room. Everything will have to go back to its original place before my son comes home. But I just wanted to share my new normal and and the fact that, you know, with the surgery situation, I am going to have to head out to the treatment center to get some fluids and magnesium. Um, end up finding out with this new chemo treatment, I need more fluids, which I kind of knew was going to happen because this new chemo, I, I sleep a lot. I'm, I'm always drifting in and out of sleep. So with this, because I'm sleeping a lot, I'm not... I'm not getting enough fluid in my system. So the doctor decided on the weeks where I do not have chemo that I'm gonna go in and get fluid and magnesium. So to help me out a little bit. Um, I am feeling a bit lightheaded today, but I'm trying to push through. Um, doing a few things around the house, taking my sweet time. The, today was trash pickup day. So I end up putting the trash out, which there's a big bin and it's, it was, it was full. It was full. It was extremely heavy. Um, but I pushed through to that. I had to rest for a little bit cause that took all my little energy yesterday, putting it out for pickup today. So I'm not even going to bother with the recycle bin because I think the recycle bin is also full. So I'm going to just have my neighbor take care of that for me because since I'm feeling lightheaded today, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do too much today. Um, I just want to go to my doctor appointment. Well, not my doctor appointment. I just want to go to the treatment center, get my fluid, get my magnesium, and then come home and just rest for the rest of the day. But I just wanted to give an update and show off my new normal. Um, really so weird having a bed in the middle of my living room but I hope everyone has I hope everyone is having a great week even through this pandemic even through what's going on throughout the U.S. with the riots and it's and everything else it's been a crazy 2020 crazy 2020 but I hope everyone is having a great week and staying safe. Take care. Thanks again. Thanks again for listening.